So to create this 3D text effect, first we need to draw a text. And we can do this by either choosing the pen tool, the brush tool or the pencil tool. I will use the pencil tool and to get a smoother text, I will double click the pencil tool and set the smoothness to 50% and then click OK. Now we can draw our text. Something like this. And the reason why we need to draw our own text and we can't use the text tool is because we need to have a centered path which we will not have if we use the text tool. This is because we are going to apply a blend and a blend can only be applied to a path. So now we have our text and we can always adjust the text later. So let's create the blend. To do this select a lips tool, hold down the shift key to get a nice circle, then create a small circle. Create the circle about the same width as you want the width of the text to be. Now give the circle a fill instead of a stroke. Go to the gradient panel. If it isn't open, go to window and find it right here. Then click one time at the gradient and apply the gradient that you want for your text. The effect looks really cool if you choose two colors that are very far away from each other and also that are very bright. These type of crazy bright colors are very trending right now. So for this example, I will choose a cyan and a purple. Mostly because that is the color theme for my channel, but it also fits very well right here. But instead of only having two colors blending into each other, we will choose the darkest color of the two, which is the purple in this case, and put in an even darker version of this color. So in this case, I will choose this dark purple and put it in right here. This will add this kind of shadow effect for the text, which will further emphasize the 3D effect. And I will move these sliders in the top, so that the middle color will have a more hard fading. Then I will rotate it minus 90 degrees. I like it when the brightest color is on top, which will make the brightest color look like a highlight. So now we have the gradient that we like, and you can use whatever color that you like right here. Then pick the selection tool, Hold down the ALT key to duplicate and drag the copy to the right while holding down the SHIFT key to make sure it moves in a straight line. Then copy this step to get some more copies by clicking CTRL D a couple of times. The more copies you make, the smoother you will be able to make your text and I will show you why in a moment. For now select all your circles, go to OBJECT, go to BLEND and click MAKE. And here we have our blend. So to apply the blend to the text, we simply need to select both the blend and the text, then go to object, go to blend and select replace spine. And here we need to make some adjustments, because I want the blue color to be in front. To do this, go to object, go to blend and go to reverse spine. And now it looks like the effect is done. But your text might not look like this right away. That's because we need to make some adjustments in the blend. So if we go to this blend tool right here and double click it, we have some options to choose from right here. And the options we want is specified steps and click preview. And if I just turn this down, we can see what's happening. So here I have specified that I want 10 copies between each of the blend copies I made. And the maximum amount of steps we can choose is 1000. So when I made the blend, I created a lot of copies of the same circle and that is because this way I can have a thousand copies from this to this and a thousand copies from this to this and a thousand copies from this to this and so on. If I only made the blend using two circles, we could only have a thousand copies from this and all the way down to this and that will make the gradient look very choppy. So let's specify our steps to 1000. And now we have a smooth text. And the cool thing about blends is that we can always adjust them later. So if we click OK right here, we can see that if we pick the pen tool, we can adjust these anchor points just as we want. And we can move them around if we like to. And the blend will just follow. And this goes for the gradient as well. We can always change the gradient if we like to. And the way we do this is by picking the direct selection tool, unselect the text, and then while holding down the shift key, select all these circles. And then we can just change the gradient just as we want. If we want to, we can even just select one of these circles and make this another gradient. And this way we can create some very interesting effects. 
Thank you for watching.